I'm your host, Travis Short. Let's let's get started. Uh, I don't think sex is real. I know. I I think sex is just the biggest prank the entire world is trying to play, specifically on me. Like, if I ever happen to romance a lady, and we have we have a we have a nice connection, and we'll we'll go back to like my place, and we'll we'll get in my bed. Uh, does sex happen in beds? Sometimes? Okay. So I guess we'll get in my bed, it's comfortable. Uh, but right before the integral moment, all the walls of my apartment will fall down and everyone I've ever known will be standing around me with spotlights going, Dude, what are you doing? We were joking about that shit. You can't do that. I can't believe you were going to do that. That's crazy. Um, it's 2019, y'all. We made it. Made it to a new year, I can't believe it. I've been doing a lot of like introspection, learning a lot about myself. I uh, learned that I'm an optimist. Like, not in the way that I think good things are gonna happen all the time, but in the way that uh, I just hope that the Chinese place down the street from my place uh, doesn't give me food poisoning for the third time in a row. That's, that's what I'm rolling with. Um, I learned that I, I'm a hoarder, y'all. Just straight up, I'm a hoarder. I have just useless crap all over. I'm not even like the cool kind of hoarder that hoards like Transformers action figures or like old newspapers or anything. I just pick shit off off the street. I'm like, is that a railroad spike? I coat it in silver and kill a vampire crossed with a werewolf. That's perfect. My bed is just an island in a room full of crap. That's all it is. No shit. <laughs> My parents are right up front. <laughs> they know. They lived with me for 23 years. <laughs> um, I also, I figured out, I, I found out what my irrational fears are. Do you, do, do you have an irrational fear? Sharks? Sharks? I, it's not irrational, as long as you don't go in the water, you're fine. I have an irrational fear of mirrors. And like, I, I have a fear that behind every mirror that I am in front of, there is just a small room full of government agents watching me. I can't do anything in front of a mirror, otherwise the government might find out what I'm up to. I had one that I grew out of, uh, I couldn't be naked in front of my cat. <laughs> I was scared of being naked in front of my cat because I thought my cat was a spy for all the pretty girls I went to school with and they would go tell them about how small my penis was. So, <laughs> so I couldn't be naked in front of my cat. Um, I'm bad at flirting, y'all. I'm terrible. Like, some people know this. I'm awful at flirting. Uh, my, like, brand of flirting is I'll just stare at an attractive person from across the bar until they leave. <laughs> and then I go home and cry. <laughs> That's not true, y'all. I stay home and cry. <laughs> um, this is exciting. I quit my job recently. <laughs> yeah, not to, do, not to do comedy full time, just to get another job. But uh, I love quitting jobs, y'all. It's so much fun. It makes me feel like a cowboy from out west. Like, every time I go in to tell my boss to, tell, to put in my two weeks notice, I feel like, like I'm wearing the cowboy garb. I'll be like, I'm quitting in two weeks. And then I walk out the door like, I've got spurs. That jingle, jangle, jingle. And then on my last day, I actually show up wearing like a cow print vest and and uh, what are those called? Yeah, those, and, uh, and, a, and a 10 gallon hat, and like a fake pistol on my belt, and then I say things like, well, I guess it's time for me to mosey on out of here. <laughs> Though I'd love to stay forever, this is why I can't remain. I've got spurs, anyway. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, do y'all ever get lonely? Yeah, I get lonely sometimes. 
I get lonely. I, I would get lonely and I would read the misconnections on Craigslist. And I would try to fit myself into the connection. <laughs> like, I would read a connection that was like, I saw you jogging in the park with your friends. You had tan skin and long hair, and, you're, and you had a nice athletic build. And uh, you cracked a joke with your friends, and they laughed, and that's when our eyes met. And um, I know I wasn't jogging. I know what day that was. I was in the middle of a three hour long anime marathon. I popped my second bag of popcorn because Haruhi Senpai can't uh, solve those mysteries by herself. Uh, if y'all are sitting up front, you can probably see my, my cyborg implant. Yeah, I'm a full automaton up here. I was, uh, I was about 12 years old when I got this. Some, uh, I, was, I was just like in a park and some government agents popped out of a van. <laughs> and then they, uh, they kidnapped me and put me back three days later and I had this shit. That might be where my fear of mirrors came from. But uh, I have this and, and it's really cool. I've got a whole bunch of nice cyborg features like I can record video with my eyeballs. And uh, I have this awesome thing where I can take my emotions and like delete them. <laughs> it's really cool that it has this side effect where I'm like not sure if I can feel anything anymore. So the way I kickstart that is I just eat incredibly spicy wings. It's like a fat version of Hurt by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> I ate some wings today to see if I could still feel. <laughs>